I think the first thing a budding entrepreneur needs to do is pursue an area that they're passionate about because then speed bumps along the way, you just plow right through them because it is what you want to do with your life. Myself and two business partners started iRobot right out of MIT um, with some really great technology and we just wanted to build robots for a living. So in 2002, we'd raised some money as a company, but we were having a tough time raising money to get the Roomba on the market because a lot of the venture capitalists were like vacuuming. Do people still do that? <laughs> and so um, I signed up to do the Springboard and CWE sponsored a Springboard. What I learned was I was presenting like we were still a garage shop operation. We were actually much larger than that. We had uh, you know, a product ready for market that was going to blow the world away and I wasn't presenting it like the hip product that it was going to be. Women sometimes lack the confidence that they can front it, that they can be the spokesperson, that they can go out and sell the idea. And CWE really lets women know, yeah, they can do it. It's your baby. If you don't do it, no one's going to. So to bring it to life, to keep it going, to make it grow and flourish, you're going to have to be the one. And here's some steps you take to do it. I'm really trying to help the next generation of entrepreneurs because I know women entrepreneurs are going to make the money back.